15 Days Novena for Victory Daily Prayers Prayer 1 Father God, I come before you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, praising you with all my heart, mind, and strength for the victory you have given me through Jesus Christ, my personal Lord and Savior. The Bible says that Jesus Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Therefore, sickness, disease, pain, suffering, poverty, and death has no power over me. I am now free from the law of sin and death. The Spirit of Christ Jesus dwells in me. My body is a temple for the Holy Spirit, redeemed, cleansed, and sanctified by the blood of Jesus. I am a child of the living God. I claim my victory in the name of Jesus over all the works of the devil. Satan, you are a defeated foe. I resist you in the name of Jesus Christ. I overcome you by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of my testimony. I am anointed by the power of the Holy Spirit to serve my King and Master, Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, I give you all the glory, honor, praise, and worship. The Bible says you are Jehovah Nissi, which means the Lord is my victorious banner. I thank you, Father, for the victory I have in the wonderful name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer 2 Father, we thank you for making us see a new year. There were many that desired to see this new year, but they were unable to. It is not that we are better than them or that we are more righteous than them. It's just because of your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your many mercies because they encompass us like a shield and protect us from the fiery darts of the wicked. We thank you for the many battles seen and unseen, that you fought on our behalf last year. Thank you for not allowing the enemy to have the last laugh over our lives and that of our loved ones. We bless you because you are holy and righteous and faithful and your eyes are ever upon us. Blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus. Prayer 3 Dear Lord, I pray that in this new year, you will cause me to be in the center of your will for my life. Please do not let me stray from your presence, but rather help me to keep my eyes focused on you. Let every step I take and every decision I make be in line with your will for my life. I pray I will be in the center of your will maritally, spiritually, in my career or business, and in everything I lay my hands on. Prayer 4. I pray for spiritual growth in this new year, that my spiritual life will not be stagnant, and that I will be a good ambassador of Christ. Lord, please show me the steps I need to take to grow spiritually. Open my eyes to see those things that I need to let go, and give me the grace to embrace what must be done for me to grow up unto you in all things. As I take steps to pursue faith and holiness with a good conscience, O oh Lord, please back me up in Jesus' name. Amen. Day 11. Praying for victory in parenting. A prayer for your child to walk in victory. Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Scripture reference, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be careful on how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Scripture reference, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. Keep your servant from willful sins. May they not rule over me, then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression, Scripture reference, Psalms chapter 19, verse 13. For a man is a slave to whatever has mastered him. Scripture reference, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 19. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit lives in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. 
for God's temple is sacred and you are that temple. Scripture reference, 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 19 to 20. Let us pray. Father, thank you that you have given my children the ability to choose right over wrong. I trust you to supply the strength and integrity they need to overcome anything that may hinder your blessings and favor upon them. Lord, I pray that you will continually lead my children into victory. Do not let them become mastered by anything in this world. Cover them in your shadow and guard them from any traps the enemy lays to enslave them to sin. Lord, I stand against any strongholds of the world, such as detrimental thought processes, fleshy desires, cravings, habits, and any other thing that will keep my children from living a life of freedom and peace. Father, help each of my children understand that they are not their own, that their bodies are temples reserved for your Holy Spirit, and that they shall treat it as a sacred place. Scripture reference, 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 19 to 20. Father, keep my children from participating in willful sins. Scripture reference, Psalms chapter 19, verse 13. Rather, empower them to be self-controlled and alert. Scripture reference, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Always careful how they live, choosing wisely in every situation. Scripture reference, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. I thank you, Lord, that you are always with my children. I trust you to lead them in a triumphal position in Christ. And through them, live the beautiful fragrance of your love and grace for all mankind. Scripture reference, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. In Jesus' name, Amen. Mm -hmm.